Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Kai and I'm the Nerd of Strength. I'm back again doing another predictions for the 2019 World Strongest Man Heat. I'm going to be doing these last two heats a little different. I'm just going to shotgun through them because I have crunched for time. I got to pack and I got to leave soon. So let's get through this. Same like the first three groups, I'm going to be going through the list of the competitors, talking about their stats, their weaknesses, and who I think is going to advance to the finals. Before I go over that, let me just remind you guys to once again follow me on Instagram at Eastwolf Style. Okay, moving on. For group four, our competitors are J.F. Caron, Kevin Ferris, Matthias Kieliskowski, Ole Martin Christensen, and Lauren Chalet. J.F. Caron is Canada's strongest man and placed fifth at World Strongest Man in both 2017 and 2018. Kevin Ferris placed third at the Giants Live North American Open. Matthias Kieliskowski is Poland's strongest man, and he placed second at Worlds last year. Ole Martin Christensen is Norway's strongest man, and he regularly competes on the SCL League. And Lauren Chalet, of course, is the two times Britain's strongest man and Europe's strongest man of 2016. And once again, here are your qualifying events. We have the Monster Truck Pull, Super Yoke and Farmer's Walk, Deadlifts for Reps, Overhead Press for Reps, and Last Man Standing Atlas Stones. Alright, with all that out of the way, like I said, we're going to shotgun through these next two heats. So I'm just going to lay it out right here on the table. I think Lauren Chalet is going to win this heat overall. I know that's a bold statement, but hear me out. See, normally I would give this to Mateusz, but he said, you know, he's been working on a knee injury in the past couple of weeks, and normally his deadlift's not that good. With the last two Arnold's that he participated in and Europe's Strongest Man, the deadlift was his Achilles heel. And we already know that, but it's severely lacking so bad that he loses points and he has to gain a lot of traction in the end, which caused him to lose Europe's Strongest Man and the Arnold South Africa. So I think that will be his downfall, which will cause Lauren Chalet to get more points than him, which will probably give him first overall. All right, going into our first event, the Monster Truck Pull, I'm going to give it to uh, Matthias Kieliskowski. He's always really good at pull events. He did super great at the plane pull in 2017 and at the bus pull in 2018. So I have no doubt that he's going to, you know, win this overall. So no worries on that. Karan, I'd say, is going to place okay, but he had a really bad hamstring injury at the beginning of this year during the Arnold Santa Monica and the Arnold Classic. Hopefully, that injury has subsided and he's doing a lot better, but he doesn't post a lot of updates on his Instagram, so we're not really sure where he's at right now. Lauren Chalet, I think, could take second place in this, however, because Lawless has just been looking great in his training videos. This is his last World Strongest Man, so he's definitely going to bring it. I think Berserker Laws is going to show up, and he's going to kill this entire group. Ole Martin Christensen looks really huge on his um, Instagram page, so I think he definitely has the body weight to do well in the truck pull as well. And Kevin Ferris, I've only seen him compete at the Giants Live North America, and he is actually the lightest guy competing at Worlds this year, so uh, good luck to him on the truck pull. Moving on to the super yoke and the farmer's walk, I'm going to give it to Lulz. Lawrence is the fastest in the world at yoke, and I think he's going to bring his A game once again. He's going to really want to get into the finals, so I think he's going to win first in that event. Kevin Ferris is pretty fast, and so is Mateusz, so we're going to see what happens. Karad, once again, I'm not sure how he's going to fare due to his hamstring injury, but he might surprise us. Going into the deadlift, this is uh, Mateusz's Achilles heel, and I don't think he's going to do well here. I 100% think he's going to lose points here. He has in the past in other shows, like I said, the Arnolds. He's, it happened in World as well, so I don't think he's going to do well here. But like I said, again, we don't know about Karan's hamstring, so it's up in the air. But I would say him and Lulz are going to battle it out on this event. In fact, in training, Lulz just pulled like 900 pounds. So I have no doubt in my mind that he's going to do good on this one. Ole Monte Christensen can also do pretty well. He's got the mass. He's a, a slow rapper in my opinion, so he might not get them up as quickly. But I think if he just does, has a better tempo than Mateusz, he might get good points on this event. 
Moving on to the overhead press, I'm going to give it to Metish. I mean, come on, that kid's a monster when it comes to whether it's dumbbell or log. He just has the great, he just has great pressing power. So I have no doubt in my mind he's going to do well at that event. Lols does decent at pressing, but he's been working on it, so he can also pick up good points. Kevin Ferris does decent on that. I think Christensen has really good pressing power, so he might get good points there. And Karan, again, can hang with the best of them. Who I think is going to go into last man standing and who I think is going to win first overall, it's honestly a toss-up. These are all really good events for Lawrence. And this being his last world, like I said, he's going to bring his A game. And I think, and this is a controversial opinion, but I think he's going to win his group first overall. Kieliskowski is just a powerhouse, but right now he has a, a recent injury, and because there's deadlift, I don't think he's going to win it overall. He's going to lose points on that event. In fact, he might even come in last in that event, and that could really be the difference between first place in his group or not. So, I think Laws is going to come in first place in his heat overall, which will leave JF and Mateusz to duke it out of the stones. And that's so unfortunate because all three of these guys I really like. And they're all top 10 guys in the world. But I'm going to say Kieliskowski is going to be Corona the last man standing. Not only because he's younger, but just the way he handles Atlas Stones and Natural Stones. He's going to win it. He's right up there with Luke Stoltzman and Tom Stoltzman when it comes to Stones. So there are my predictions for Heat 4. Like I said, I'm sorry that this video is different from my first three Heat predictions, but like I said, I'm crunch for time. If you enjoyed these quicker videos, let me know, and maybe I'll do more of these. Stay tuned for my Heat 5 prediction video later. They're both going to be uploaded on the same day, so don't worry. And once again, follow me on Instagram at EastWolfStyle, and I hope you all have a good day.